a sacrificial anode in a swimming pool is something that you install to help mitigate the damages from a pro an electromechanical process called galvanic corrosion. When you take dissimilar metals and you submerge them into a salt water solution, uh, what happens is that there is an electric current that starts to pass in between differential metals. Um, the weaker of the two metals will corrode at an advanced rate, while the stronger of the two metals will experience uh, a form of pr protection called cathodic protection. So. Uh, the purpose of a sacrificial anode is to introduce a new, weaker metal into the swimming pool system such that it will take the brunt of the damage from galvanic corrosion. Uh, and the idea is, is that you would much prefer to have a small zinc rod that you replace every two to three years uh, taking damage as opposed to the galvanized walls in your swimming pool or your stainless steel pool ladders or something like that. Um, so every swimming pool should have a sacrificial anode installed and the reason is is that every swimming pool has a salt content. Chlorine is salt based, so every swimming pool has a salt uh, content. However, salt water pools, this is even more important because there's an elevated salt content, which, which makes the uh, effect of galvanic corrosion much more pronounced. So every swimming pool should have a sacrificial anode. It's a zinc rod that gets installed in line in the plumbing system, and it has a copper connector to it where you would connect it to the bonding grid of your pool system. Uh, the bonding grid of your pool system is a heavy gauge copper wire that should connect every metal component in and around the swimming pool together to force them to be the same electrical potential. Uh, if you have a sacrificial anode and it's connected to the bonding grid and that bonding grid is in turn grounded to the house ground of your main service electrical panel, then that is how you would install a sacrificial anode properly to help mitigate those problems associated with galvanic corrosion. If you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.